Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to talk about inventory management again and this time we're focusing on reorder point safety stuff both for normal distribution and discrete distribution before anything else if you have not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe we have daily videos about business concepts investment trading and uh, strategy and all that about business and entrepreneurship all right so without further ado let's go to the video at hand so reorder point uh, normal distribution remember in statistics when you talk about normal distribution you expect to have decimal places there while discrete uh, you know discounting numbers right okay so the parameters that are given to us here are daily demand so d bar is the mean the mean demand or the average demand or and then the standard deviation so think about the D bar as your average and uh, the, your sigma D or the standard deviation as your spread of demand. So uh, let's say uh, if you won't compute and just uh, maybe look at an average one and uh, look at the lows and the highs and then try to figure out what is the usual uh, range of uh, numbers. So, for example, you have a daily demand of about a thousand for the product. Sorry about that. Cut. Okay, so one thousand, yeah. And uh, then you figure out that your standard deviation is about two hundred. What does that mean? So maybe your usual range is um, about eight hundred to one thousand two hundred. But again, if you want to compute it, then there are ways to do it. You can use um, uh, you know excel to do that equals stdev then you already have your standard deviation first now service level is the percentage or the desired percentage uh, of the demand that you want to serve right so of course this is strictly positive as it's included here and uh, if you want to have 95 percent service level then you put 95 so if you want 90 percent just put 90 so let's say the company wants a 95 percent service level so that means you want to be able to uh, service 95 percent of all the demand and your lead time in days of the for the supplier sample for the model then uh, 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 you just count the usual number of days of the suppliers in, in delivering the goods or whatever that is that is going to be delivered uh, right so or the lead time uh, uh, that that it needs for you to have your or, uh, goods replenished right or materials replenished okay so this takes care of your safe system actually so if you want for example your lead time to be uh, 10 days and the sigma level it's about sample two so that means it's either eight or twelve uh, of course it's not as simple as that right uh, when you do the mathematical computation it, it can be 2.5 2.75 something like that but let's just put some decimal places so that we understand it like that 2.62 for example and then the lead time will be something like 10.18 all right or oh, 10.18 sorry sorry about that guys okay so uh if you click solve here then you're already uh given the answer so these are all the given on the left side and then we have the z value of 1.64 1.64 uh in the normal distribution takes care of the 95 percent uh, beyond the curve is already uh, just chance so that's about five percent error expected demand during the lead time is about 10,180 why because there are 10.18 days lead time so that's 1,000 times 10.18 so that's 10,180 and then we want so the safety stop to be 
0.4422. We completed that using normal distribution curve. And so, when you add that, that's the reorder point. So, what does this mean? You have to make your reorder when your goods reach 14,602.41. Remember that this is uh, discrete. Uh, discrete, sorry. This is normal. That's why it has decimal point. Oh, yeah. So, let's go to discrete. What about discrete? Discrete, discrete, discrete. Uh, Okay, so we go next to the reorder point without safety stop. So I just chose five values for probability distribution, and these are the parameters that we have. Reorder point dot safety stop. We put it at seventy here. This is just the original given from our uh, manual. Right, carrying cost for the year is about eighteen dollars. Oh no, it's not eighteen dollars. No, eight, two, and then the stock of cost is eighteen. Orders per year, we have two orders per year. Again, this is just given. So remember, what does this mean? The reorder point does save stock. This is the minimum value, and uh, we can consider that this is your uh, former reorder point without safety stock. And you are trying to compute uh, what will be your reorder point with safety stock using this speed curve right so these are your uh, demand uh, with the probability on the right side so let's just put uh, probabilities here so maybe this happens around 25 percent of the time this one happens about 15 percent of the time uh, 10 percent no maybe this happens yeah okay anyway 35 45 so this has to be 20. Okay, so maybe we'll put it put this as 30%. 40, 70, 90, and this is just 0.10. Alright, so this means that 50 happens 25% of the time, 60 happens 15% of the time, then this one is 30, 20%, 10. Alright? So if these are your given, what will be your new reorder point? Okay, so here we have we are given okay these are your safety stock additional holding cost stock out cost will be that one uh the original order point is 70 but then it says here that the best safety stock based on the given that we give is 20 now the revised order point reorder point is 90. so this means that your safety stock would be best to be put at 20 and that's your reorder point now okay so that's it for this video we have tackled about reorder point and safety stock for both normal and discrete functions next we will talk about kanban computation and the single period inventory for both discrete and normal so see you next video thank you very much bye